We're learning about some changes happening at churches in West Warwick. After a thorough planning and consultation, the Diocese of Providence decided to make St. Mary Parish a mission of Saints John and James. Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Lima explains what this means for parishioners. New tonight. The new pastor at the churches tells me the mass schedules will not be changing. He says merging the parishes will help them support one another in faith and in finance. Every pew was filled Sunday morning for the last mass before changes at St. Mary. The parishes are going to be merged. This is what we would hope for, that the, the church would rally together and stand together as one. Declining attendance and sacramental practice in recent years means changes are coming to the church. Starting July 1st, it will be a mission of Saints John and James Parish. This will be the third time that St. Mary serves as a mission for Saints John and James Parish, and it serves as a mutual support, both in faith and in finances. The biggest change people will notice is a new pastor who will split his time between the two churches. Pray for me. <laughs> Today's Mass is going to be very bittersweet. Sunday also marked the last Mass for Father Douglas Spina. He's retiring after seven years at St. Mary. The people here are just wonderful. They're supportive, they're prayerful, they're faithful, and energetic, only to take on every challenge. Spina hopes the West Warwick community embraces this latest change so both parishes can thrive. He says despite the changes, they're lucky the building will remain open as so many others are forced to close from lack of attendance. We all feel very fortunate. A quick fun fact about St. Mary, it's the oldest Catholic church building still in use in the Providence Diocese. I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.